Hey, what's up guys? It is the Brick Building Kids. Guys, today I've got a video to share with you. Um, it's of us fixing our WG309 pole saw. Now, what's wrong with this unit is nothing would work. So you'd hit the trigger and you would just hear a lot of revving, a lot of, uh, a lot of sounds. The chain would sometimes move, but once you get going, it just would stop moving. So I'm going to show you guys the steps I took to diagnose to find the point of failure and to finally get a fix. So like I said, it's, it's been a major area of personal struggle. It took us months to figure out what's wrong and I'm hoping to share with you how you can get that done a lot faster. So here we go. All right, now first you see my chainsaw is taken apart. So a lot of this, they're all just Phillips head screws. So I just started to take the unit apart to see if I could find any points of failure. Um, the final point of failure I found was, was this. It is classified by works as the big gear, um, the big gear and bearings. So inside here, there's a bunch of teeth that the chainsaw uses in here to turn the chain to actually do your cutting. So you notice inside here, there's just, these teeth are just gone. So... I went to Amazon, I picked up probably three or four different ones that looked close to this. None of them fit perfectly. So um, I contacted Works and it took a bunch of phone calls and a bunch of emails to finally get one sent to me, which is here. So on this guy, I mean, it's the teeth are majorly in place. You can see just here, the teeth are so deep in here, they're just they're just gone. So um, I'm gonna show you here and I put this back together. Now, like I said, I took this apart, but pretty much everything on this is pretty cut and dry with the exception of one piece. So um, we're gonna start to assemble this. Now, as you can see on my chainsaw here, I left, I left part of this still on. So there is one screw or right here that I left on so I wouldn't have to mess with any of the electrical components. So, I'll put this back in here. All right, so now we have our bearing out. So I'm gonna lift this up so I can put this right under the flap. And put it on here, okay? So we're in, all right. So for me, the next piece to reconnect is this okay so we're going to connect this here that's upside down so we're going to connect this here now there's one super important piece that while you're unassembling you have got to make sure that you keep track of so it is this this little piece here so the first time i took it off before trying to reassemble it on the other units it flew off and i had to search my garage for it so you want to be very careful when you take this thing off. Putting it back on is a lot easier. Um, just requires some pressure from one side and it'll snap right in, okay? But when you're taking this piece off, what I did this last time is I took my, my precision or my, my pliers and I pushed this through slowly and just got it off far enough so I could kind of just wedge it off um, with a screwdriver so from here we are going to take the flatter head screwdrivers or the flatter head phillips Okay, so we got those four here, and you can just still kind of test it to work it, but I mean, it's, it's, it's spinning so much more well than it was before. So for me, I'm just gonna tighten up some of these screws, make sure I know all of them are in place. That's good. Okay, now I have a lot of piece, a lot of screws on the back end to put back on, so we're gonna put these back together. Okay. Well, then we're back 
together here. Okay, now we got one inside there. We'll hand tighten that one. there okay now let's check here okay we've got a couple up top we need okay so there's one here that one is kind of deeper in the hole so we're gonna hand get that one too Alright, it is tight. Okay. Okay. All right, we're in. All right, so it's a few screws left. Let's double check. Okay. So make sure that we have everything in here that needs to be in here. So. also needs replaced okay okay all right so just double checking this attaches okay so this attaches I've got a couple left It may actually be left over from another project, so let's, let's make sure. All right, so these big ones are definitely left over. Okay, so took that last screw, put it there. All right, let's get this chain on. make sure it's going the right way and like I said this has been sitting out for a while I've had to come back and forth to this is project because you know, we just I just could not get the right part to save my life so all right All right, guys, this is, I am doing this as we go. So like, this, is, this is the best point I've been at with this project in months. So we're gonna connect this thing now and see if this works. So I'm gonna grab an extension cord. 
and we are going to find out together. power. Let's see if we got all right. We have got the power now. Sweet. All right. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, like I said, do not, do not, do not buy any of this works. Um, the bearings from Amazon, none of them I purchased were right, um, even though they said they would fit these models. Um, I have a couple other works, chainsaws, they're very similar, they have a very similar design, just contact works if you need um, to get one of those big, big uh, gear and bearings. And uh, leave me a question if you have any, or leave me a comment if you guys have any questions, I'd be glad to help. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching the Brick Building Kids.